Hey everyone, what is up and welcome to Silent Fields Kingdom Hearts. Okay, let's see, where did we leave off at? Where did we leave off at? Okay, uh, alright, in Lotus Forest, uh, go into the back area to where the mushrooms and the plants are at and go to the right and hop on top of the uh, little lily pad thing here and open the pink box for an antenna. Alright, now you'll see a, that chest over there in the distance. Uh, ah. What you have to do is, right when you get to the edge of the lily pad, to jump and hold down the jump button so you can make sure you have the maximum jump. Ah. And make sure you jump. And you should be able to uh, make just make it. Yeah, just make it to the edge there and hang on. Hop up, go to the chest, and you will get the Thunder G. Uh, Gummy ship piece. All right, so then after that, go ahead and go back, and we're going to go on to the next or to the left area here. So just go ahead and hop up, hop over, and you'll see a chest here for Dalmatians numbers 16, 17, and 18. So yeah. All right, then after that, go ahead and go back to the front, and here is a yellow flower. Give him a potion, and it'll make you grow bigger. So, go ahead and get your potion, give it to the flower. And now you are, well, not really a giant, but most more like a normal size, I guess you could say. Anyway, so first off, hop on that stump there, to, and it'll make a lily pad grow up, so you can have access to a new, new area, in a way. Um, here, as you can see, you can hit the tree, so... And you can also take a uh, little... Uh, Seed down. No, eat it, not hit the tree. Okay, eat. Eat. There we go. Thank you. I don't know, this wasn't registering. Anyway, so go ahead and eat the little nut there to go back down. Um, and I'm just showing you that you can do that. So then after that, go ahead and head back up. Let's see here. And over. And onto the new lily pad that you brought up and into the bizarre room now however thing is that you'll be on a new little area which as you see you got on the faucet so what we want to do is uh, do your first person view and aim directly over there at the cabinet jump <laughs> okay that was close <laughs> and grab onto the edge there to get the final evidence which is the claw marks well look what you found nice going now can we save Alice? Don't be so sure. She may be innocent, but what about you? What do you mean? I won't tell, but I'll give you something. So, we get the Blizzard spell for getting all four pieces of evidence, which is extremely awesome. So you remember those red nocturne enemies? Now you can finally kill them in like one shot. So, after that, go ahead and jump down back uh, of course, go through the Queen's Castle. Um, just in case, go ahead and touch the save point and... Well, I went ahead and saved there. You don't have to, but... Actually, you know what? Yes, you do have to. Go ahead and save there. Um, and then, talk to the card. Sorry, yes, go ahead and save. Talk to the card. And show the Queen what you found. Like I said, there's four uh, pieces of evidence total, and all four of those will appear there. Uh, but she's still not impressed. Bitch. Alright, so she'll bring over her own piece of evidence and mix them all up. Now, you have four out of five chances to get this right if you got all four pieces of evidence. Um, if you get it right, a Heartless will appear. If you get it wrong, Donald and Goofy will appear and they will be locked up in the next battle. So hopefully you get it right and yes, I got it right. But if you do get it wrong... Um, you could either hit Donald and Goofy's cage uh, to free them in the next battle, or you could just reset and try your choice again, and hopefully get a Heartless the second time. Like I said, you have four out of five chances to get that right, so, yeah. Alright, so, uh, yeah, you defy her, blah, 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 she gets all... I don't know. Me, whatever. Yeah. Anyway, here's the next battle. Alright, so here we have a mini boss battle against the cards, the Queen of Hearts, and in a sense, the Crate Tower. Alright, now this is the only picture I could find for the card soldiers, so I'll go ahead and just 
tell you their HP. Um, all right, the heart cards have 60 HP, and the spade cards have 45. Uh, they don't give you any experience because you can't actually kill them. Yeah. Text. All right, you can't actually kill them. All you can do is just knock them out. Um, so the best thing to do is actually go to the Queen of Hearts herself and hit her until she gets uh, knocked out, turned upside down. Um, and then the heart cards will go into a panic and just kind of stand there while the spade cards will be the only ones attacking you. And there's only, I think, like one or two spade cards. So um, just get rid of the spade cards. Uh, and after you get rid of them, if the queen comes back up, just hit her a couple more times to knock her back out. And then everyone should be knocked out. And then hopefully you'll uh, have enough time to start attacking the the, uh, the crank tower. Now the crank tower actually has uh, endurance instead of HP, so it doesn't matter what strength you're at. All that matters is the number of times you actually hit the crank tower. Like the uh, gear handles have an endurance of 9, so all you have to do is hit it 9 times, and the tower itself has endurance of 24. Alright, so that's really about it for this. It's just mainly the crank tower is your main focus, alright? Okay. Alright, so I hope you got all that. So as you can see, attack the card tower, or the card tower, the crank tower as much as you can, but if they get cards get too much in the way, attack the queen, and she should fall over, leaving the uh, red cards, as you can see they're kind of stunned, it's the one on the left there, and just attack the black cards. And hopefully Donald and Goofy will be able to uh, keep you all uh, healthy. So, yep, attack her again, and it doesn't really take that much. It, like, one or two hits to knock the queen over. She doesn't really have that much health. Four. Seven. Eight. Should be one more hope. Ah, oh, come on. And, well, you can also, as you see, shoot your fire at them. Yeah, there's nine. Okay. Uh... And it should knock him down. Yeah, pretty soon. Uh, okay, now with the crane tower, you'll see it knocks out all this money and uh, health. So whenever that comes out, stop hitting the crane tower and collect all that you can. Because these are the only rewards you will really get for this battle. So just uh, hit it as soon as something comes out. Stop hitting it. Run around. Get it all. And then go back and hit it again. And if you get it, you'll get, I think, 100 experience points. I believe that's what it was. Hopefully Donald and Goofy will get a level up. And Alice is gone. She must have gone kidnapped while we were fighting. You fools! Find the one who's behind this! I don't care how! Yeah, sexy woman's voice. Ugh. Anyway, so after that, go ahead and save again. Okay, my jumped. All right. Anyway, save again, then head back into Lotus Forest. Cause we have some more stuff to do over here. And flower grows out of. Boulder. Okay, I think that's the boulder from the back of the area. Anyway, have you seen Alice? Alice, no. Shadows, yes. Where'd they go? This way, that way? Uh, left, right, up, down, all mixed up, blah, 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 sip. Uh, blah, blah, blah. You might find shadows in the upside down room. The upside down room. Hmm. Alright, anyway. Alright, so here's a new type of. Heartless, which is called the large body. Now these are really basic heartless. Um, as you can see, they have 160 HP, so they do take a little while to take down, but not too long. Their attack is 11, defense is 10, so they can have just slightly powerful attack. You do get seven experience from each one, and of course they drop. As you can see, the HP balls, money, and they have a high chance of dropping a spirit shard. Now for the large bodies, they can only be attacked from behind. You cannot hurt him at all from the front so it makes it a little more difficult if you do have the guard ability which you would have gotten if you chose the shield uh, that you can hit square 
uh, right when the large body rams into you. Or if you don't, then you can actually attack it right as it's about to hit you. And it doesn't give you tech points, but it does temporarily temporarily immobilized large body which gives you time to run around to its back and hit it so yeah that's really about it for that one all right so oh, and there's also another thing i think i forgot to mention in that um the large body can become enraged if you start to hit it too much yeah see how it's doing right there and its body starts to glow um it, whenever it attacks you it's uh hip points will be a little higher or its attack will be a little higher in strength so be careful with that I'm gonna just go ahead and fast forward through this the video is almost over but as you can see I hit the uh, red nocturnes with blizzard kills in one shot get tech points and that's it